how to meditate in 2020, the year of clear vision and clarity. So I wanted to start with um, kind of addressing a little bit of the common misconceptions of meditation. One of the biggest misconceptions about meditations is that a lot of people who haven't meditated before tend to think that meditation is just sitting down in a quiet room with their eyes closed, no sound anywhere, no noise, nothing to disturb them, and just clear their mind, try not to think about anything. While that may be part of the whole meditation process, um, there is so, so much more to it. And I feel that by now, I think that there should be more people talking about this, or at least there should be kind of like a, you know, uh, a disclaimer, listen, meditation isn't just doing that. So I'd like to address it now and say that there's so much more to meditation and we can practice it anytime, anywhere, it doesn't matter. The Tibetan master Yongi Rinpoche refers to it as the essence of awareness. Now what that means is that it's the awareness of the present moment and anchoring yourself to that present moment. Now, how do you anchor yourself to the present moment? And for anybody who's just starting out or people who are just, or even advanced, um, this is super simple yet super powerful. And that is practicing what's called mindfulness. And mindfulness can be done through all five senses. So if we think about our sight, our hearing, our taste, our smell, our touch, we can practice our mindfulness and meditation through any of these senses. So a great example, a great way to start for beginners is to um, have a plate of food in front of you. And with that plate of food, begin to eat the food and first taste the food. Really, really focus, that's the key word. Focus on tasting the food and let, let yourself chew the food and start to feel the texture of the food Focus on the texture, then shift your focus to the smell of the food and, you know, shift your focus to the different senses. So then focus on what color the food is, the colors, all those different senses. And as you begin to focus, then you start to really um, ingrain your, the idea of mindfulness into your everyday life. <clears throat> Another great example is what I do personally at the gym. I, when I'm doing a set, I like to focus on my breathing, focus on the way it feels, the sensations I get, what's going on when I'm pushing and I'm doing my set, I'm doing my reps. And that is super powerful, especially when you're at the gym. And like I said, can be applied anywhere in life. Another example is when I'm playing music, I'm a musician and there is another state of mindfulness which is referred to as flow as you may have heard and what flow is is when you are in a focusing on something that you're passionate about you are in the flow state of doing something like like me making this youtube video or me playing my instrument as i was saying before and you're literally just you lose yourself and you're focusing on that and you're able to align to who you're aligned to your core and be able to um you know really just just let it out no it pretty much like no no barriers no insecurities nothing it just comes out of you it comes from the heart and another thing about being mindfulness and when you're meditating in 2020 is that you know we have to focus and move start to move from from our brain when we meditate into our hearts so a great tip for doing that process is not to not only envision imagine in your mind's eye your you know the energy in your heart a light like a almost like a ball you can you can put your hands on your heart and just imagine, close your eyes and imagine a glowing ball. And from there, 
that will help you to move more into your heart space. Now guys, um, these are just a few things that I do myself. There's so many different things that we, you know, that we know of and we can do out there, but these are some of the things that I like to do and I think that I've helped me the most. It's helped me with my depression, a lot of my insecurities, my anxiety. Um, it's cured me of panic attacks. It's helped with my focus. And um, lastly, I actually would like to show you my meditation process or at least some of the things I do to prepare for when I meditate as what I just described to you. So you can make it a lot easier, add it to your daily routine. And guys, this is like a game changer. This will really, really help in just so many different ways in your life. So uh, I like to show you like a lot of th uh, some of the things that I start with. So um, I like to carry around some crystals with me, um, especially when I'm meditating. I like to have them in my room or if I'm, I'm wearing them, wear some crystals now. Moldavite. This is my amethyst. My rose quartz. And clear quartz. Now, I'm not really going to get into the purpose of crystals, but um, these are great anchors, help you to um, relax, get into the meditation mood, and, and, you know, really get the best out of your meditation. I also like to light some candles. These are Reiki infused candles. I got these at Whole Foods. Um, these are great. Uh, they also come with like a little note with some affirmations that you can say before. You light them up, um, turn off all your lights, and you have a really great setting for meditation. And lastly, um, is definitely important, um, especially if you're trying to get, you know, a lot of uh, cleanse your energies and just get really into the meditation mood is um, sage I really love sage and I burn it for a little bit but the one I burn every day is Palo Santo and this is just like a little bit of it it's all burnt out because you know I use it so much and I love it so much I use it every day the sage I only use once a week I just cleanse my entire apartment once a week but the Palo Santo smells great and I use it every day. Uh, I like to light it up before meditation to begin. And it really just sets the tone. And you guys don't have to use any of these props or things. These are just, these are just kind of like enhancers to help you meditate and get the best out of your meditation and really ingrain it into your daily habits. So there you go, guys. That's really how, you know, I think everybody should at least, you know, experiment with and try to meditate with uh, these these tips and uh, I think it'll really benefit you guys and I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you got something out of it. I'm grateful for you guys watching the video. Um, if you guys have any methods that you would like to share with me uh, about meditation, definitely uh, feel free to you know comment below on your different methods and the things that you do to get yourself into the meditation mood. All right guys, make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you very much. and. Uh, Enjoy, have a great day. Thank you and be well.